What's going on, you guys? So, it's the end of the day. Weekend's just about over. I'm about to call it a day. So I figured I'll go over everything that we got done this weekend. So starting in the engine bay, uh, I got the harness and everything kind of started to route back in there. Uh, not too much. I just had to test some electrical circuits. Also mounted the blow off valve right there i know it's in a weird spot huh i got a video coming out on that though so don't worry about it and then coming around inside the car i built this got this finished up for the tubes basically the radiator hoses are going to come in and just go straight through right there so they're just going to be in the car for a very very short distance and then go back out and they're going to route up into here and this will all be enclosed Back here, I got some of the coolant hoses started to route and cut out. And that one routes to the upper hose right there and down and around. And if you will join me under the car, you can see I've started routing the coolant hoses from the hard lines up to the box that I built that goes inside the car here. And uh, yeah, it fits pretty good. So I'm happy with how that turned out. These do need to get secured still. I haven't built clamps for them or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and mount those still. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on some fuel system stuff. I did, I was looking forward to, you know, getting the fuel system banged out this weekend, but uh, all the stuff that's on back order, I found out won't be shipping out until the 16th, I believe. So hopefully we'll have it next weekend i'm really not too sure though definitely not holding my breath so i decided to try and test fit some flares on here i wasn't really too sure if i wanted to use flares or do like wide body over fenders or what trying to be budget friendly and uh at the same time use something that'll look good so if it's not going to look good i'm definitely not going to use it but i'm you know fighting the whole budget thing right now you got the subframe back and the rev shift aluminum bushings went right in those things turned out awesome so there's no more slop in the subframe at all i am missing the lower control arm for this side though that's why none of that's put together uh, this side i started bolting the suspension back up taking some measurements for the coilover conversion so i got this big quarter inch thick plate cut out here that I'm going to build off to uh, mount the coil over down onto the control arm there. Just trying to get measurements and stuff like that figured out. Uh, I got the dual calipers mounted up and figuring out line lengths and all that I need to order up. So I'm going to try and order brake lines this week. That way, uh, if I can get these rear brake lines done, I think the only thing left will be to mount the handbrake and the brake system is going to be, you know, finished off and I can check that off the list on the car. And actually while I'm over here, I got a different throttle pedal for the car. So I originally thought the one that I had would not work because when I was trying to operate it, the throttle plate, eh, the throttle plate wasn't opening up. Hooked that one up, same thing. And I started to think about it and I thought, well, Maybe it's not working because VATS is still activated on that PCM. I think if VATS is active, the throttle won't really work. So I think that might be my issue there. So I, I'm i going to wait until I unlock that ECU before I redesign the whole linkage system because what I have set up right now actually works really well and it's, it's a really good uh, leverage and you know everything's already mounted and welded into that bar. So... I think I'm gonna wait till I unlock the ECU and then see if the throttle plate opens. If it doesn't, I'll hook the other throttle pedal up. If that one works, then I'll redo it. If neither of them work, then I know I have an issue because that pedal that I bought is designed for that PCM. It's a 2010 Camaro pedal. That's a 2010 Camaro PCM. So I have to wait and see. I know my wiring's right though. I went through and checked all that. So other than that, basically I just went through I took a bunch of measurements on stuff that I need to order and build. So obviously I can't like go through, show you guys measurements and things like that, but 
Uh, you know, a lot of little things like that that I got done on the weekend as well. Uh, unfortunately, I have been kind of sick this weekend, so I didn't really get a ton of video stuff recorded. So probably not going to be doing daily uploads this weekend or this week. I'm still kind of out of it. Uh, yeah, this week's not going to be daily uploads. I'm probably only going to get like three videos out, maybe, if that. So I'll have to wait and see um, what I got. But yeah, it's coming along, making progress. And uh, like I've said before, you know, money's the biggest thing holding me back right now. Uh, I've got front suspension stuff I still need to order, all the stuff to build the engine I still need to order, rear suspension stuff. I'm probably just gonna order new rear arms for it. I had uh, like some, some vertical links that I built and <clears throat> some adjustable toe arms that I built for it. But to be honest, to buy the stuff, it's like those toe arms are like 250 bucks and they're really, really nice billet cut ones from Voodoo 13. So I think I'm just going to end up buying those. And then, you know, I need to get adjustable upper camber arms for it. That's going to be 400 bucks. The shocks that I'm looking at for the coilovers I plan on building, because I'm not doing an off the shelf coilover kit for the rear. I'm actually going to build my own coilovers. The, uh, the rear shocks alone are like 500 bucks a corner so that's like a grand in rear shocks front shocks are like another 700 or front coil over assembly i think was like 700 so f fucking money man it's that's basically where i'm at with this is just holding up the build progress is just money um you know i'm building this car paycheck to paycheck pretty much you know so saving what I can to pay my fucking bills and make it through the week and then everything else goes into the car but you know I want to get it done it's probably going to be quite a while before it gets done still but I'm not gonna stop working on it I'm already too deep into it so that's going to be it for this one subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh follow the build along like the video if you liked it I don't know I'll catch you guys later